Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to connect Power BI to a PostgreSQL database step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be able to bring your PostgreSQL data straight into Power BI, ready for analysis, reporting, and visualization. Whether you're working with sales numbers, project data, or any kind of information stored in PostgreSQL, this simple connection lets you unlock the full power of your data with just a few clicks. All right, let's jump right in. The first thing you'll want to do is open Power BI on your computer. If you haven't used Power BI before, it's Microsoft's powerful data visualization tool, and once it's up and running, you'll land on the home screen. This is where your data journey really begins. From the home screen, look for the Get Data button. You'll usually find it towards the top left. It's one of the most important features because it's your gateway to connecting with just about any data source out there. Go ahead and click on Get Data. If you don't see it immediately, don't worry, sometimes menus look a little different depending on updates or versions, but it's always on that main ribbon at the top. Now a window will pop up asking you what kind of data source you want to connect to. You could scroll through a pretty long list, but let's make it easy. Just type Postgre in the search box. That's short for Postgre SQL, which is the database server we're aiming to connect to. Power BI will narrow down the options for you as soon as you start typing, and you'll see Postgre SQL database appear. Once you see PostgreSQL database, go ahead and select it. This is the connector designed specifically for talking to PostgreSQL databases, so you'll get a smoother, optimized experience. Hit the connect button and now Power BI wants to know which database it should talk to. At this point, you'll need to type in your database details. In the window, you'll see two key fields, server and database. The server is like the street address for your database. It usually looks like an IP address, a computer name, or sometimes a web address, depending on how your database is set up. The database field is where you put the name of the specific PostgreSQL database you want to use. If you're at work, your IT team can usually give you these details, or if you're running PostgreSQL locally, you probably set them up yourself. Now down below these fields, you'll see different options for how you want to bring the data into Power BI. Choose the import option here. With import, Power BI brings a snapshot of your database's data into your project, which is great for speedy visualizations and quick analysis. There are other options like direct query, but unless you need live up to the second updates, import is the best choice for most users. Double check your information and when you're ready, hit OK. Power BI will take a few moments to connect to your PostgreSQL database and pull the data into your workspace. This part might take a little while, especially if you're connecting to a big database or working over a slow network, but don't worry, you'll see a loading screen as it does its thing. And that's it. You've just connected Power BI to your PostgreSQL database. Now you can start building beautiful dashboards, insightful reports, and share your findings with your team, all powered by your PostgreSQL data. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to hit the like button. Drop any questions you have in the comments. I check them regularly and I love helping out. Don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on videos and tips just like this. See you next time.